Hey, what's up guys? Barrett here with a brand new video. I have here the Netgear R6200 Smart Wi-Fi Router. It has 300 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band and it has 867 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band. So let's get started with setting this up. So the first thing we need to do is to power this thing up. In the back here is where the DC power input is and you just use your supplied power cable and just simply plug this into the back of the router. We're gonna let it boot up. All right, so once it's booted up, you'll see the power icon light here and the wireless icon light here is lit up. Once that's lit up, we go ahead and connect it to our computer and complete the rest of the setup. Okay, now we need to enter in our URL 1.168.1.1. And once we've done that, go ahead and hit enter. <clears throat> it's gonna ask for our username. The default username for the router is admin. And the default password is just password. So once you enter that, go ahead and hit okay. And this is what it's gonna look like, Netgear Genie. Um, you can notice we are not connected. I have no ethernet hooked up to my modem yet. I can show you how to do that in a little bit. So go ahead and hit wireless. Once we're here in wireless, we have our options for our 2.4 gigahertz band right here, and below we have our options for our five gigahertz band. So the options that we have uh, that we can change here is the SSID or the name of your network, and we can change the password right here. Um, Netgear will give you a default password. If it's too hard to remember, you can put your own custom one in here. And then down here for the five gigahertz, we can disable the five gigahertz if we'd like, and we can change the SSID of that as well. And we can also change the password on the five gigahertz. Um, we can also um, disable the 2.4 gigahertz. We also have the option of a guest network on this Wi-Fi router. And to enable it, you would just click this for enable guest network. Um, the guest network for the 2.4 gigahertz SSID is Netgear guest. Um, and down here for the guest network, uh, five gigahertz is Netgear 5G. You can also set up uh, security options uh, for a password if you'd like. You go ahead and click one of these and enter your password and click apply and that'll enter, or that, sorry, that will add a guest network to your um, network. So you would have, if you enabled both of these, you'd have a total of four um, networks up right now. So I would just recommend having just the two 0.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and leave the guest network off. Um, you also have ready share so you can hook up external um, USB devices to this. And I will show you how to connect the internet to our router right now. So what I have here is just a standard modem that you would get with your cable ISP. Uh, this is where the cable would hook up. And right here we have our ethernet port. and. Uh, with our Wi-Fi router, they supply a ethernet cable. So the ethernet cable would go into the modem right here. And on the back of our router, we have this yellow internet ethernet port. So this is what we would hook up to our modem. The other four ports are outputs. Um, this yellow one is an input. So we would just take our ethernet cable and hook it right into the back of our Wi-Fi router and this is what it looks like plugged in here. Now if we were to have the power in hooked up to here and the coax cable hooked to our cable all the lights on here would come on and then this would have uh, indicator light right here that we are hooked up to the internet. I hope you guys found this content useful. If you did, leave a thumbs up below 
and remember to subscribe for upcoming videos.